Hi everyone. Y'all, it is hot and I worked roping today and I don't want to cook, but I am going to make myself some chickpea tacos. We're going to drain our chickpeas and we're going to mix them up with some olive oil and the taco seasoning and we're going to stick them in a 400 degree oven for about well, I'm gonna see if 30 minutes is enough. If not, we'll go 45 to an hour. We wanna get them nearly dry, sort of roasted chickpeas. Then we're gonna fry some, some corn tortillas and put a little bit of cheese and sour cream in them with our taco roasted chickpeas. And they're gonna be delicious. <laughs> So let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do is make our taco seasoning. We're gonna start with some, this is the only chili pepper, ground chili pepper I had. So that's what we're gonna use. It's mostly gonna be chili powder. So we're gonna do two heaping spoonfuls of that. And then we're going to do one heaping spoonful of cumin. And then we're basically going to do like a little bit of the rest of these. So like that much. So this is paprika. Got to have some paprika in there. We're going to put a little bit of cayenne in there. Just a little bit. We're going to put some onion powder and garlic powder in it. We'll fit in there just a little bit. This is the onion powder. We might put a little extra in the onion powder in there just because we like it. Just a little bit of dried oregano and then we're gonna do some salt and pepper. Always. You always want to do a little bit of salt and pepper. There's some salt and we're gonna do like, I don't know, like 20 rounds of the pepper grinder. <laughs> Okay, I did 26. Were you counting? This is what our mix looks like. We're just gonna mix that up. It's very, <laughs> it's very red, which is a color that I enjoy. Mmm, smells delicious. We are going to take our can of chickpeas and put them in a strainer, get all the liquid out of them. We're gonna rinse them off, and then we'll stick them in our bowl with the seasoning and the olive oil. One can is gonna make like two servings tops. I don't know, five or six tacos, which is perfect if you're eating by yourself and you can have a little bit left over for tomorrow. I've got my mixing bowl here. I've got my drained and rinsed chickpeas. And I've got some beautiful California Olive Ranch olive oil. I wish that they would sponsor me because I love their olive oil. All right, we're gonna spread some of this taco seasoning on here. We really wanna coat every chickpea, so I'm just gonna sort of gauge. I'm gonna mix it and see if I have enough and then I might add some more. I think I'll add just a little bit more. Mmm, man, it smells good. All right, I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. Ooh, look at how delicious those look. I'm going to take my cookie sheet. I have already covered in aluminum foil because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to clean the cookie sheet later. So I put my aluminum foil on it. And I'm going to spread my chickpeas out. You don't want them to be clumpy because you want air to get around all of them. So you want to really spread them out. 
That's why I'm using my big cookie sheet. Okay, you're gonna spread these out and you're gonna stick them in your 400 degree oven. We're gonna try for 30 minutes. We'll see how they come out. About 15 minutes in, you're gonna open the oven and shake them so they move around. And then you're gonna leave them in there for another 15 minutes. Into the sink that bowl goes and into the oven go the chickpeas. It is hot as balls today. <laughs> uh, I also want to be done cooking so that I can go back to the drama that I'm watching right now, which is actually a rewatch. I heard somewhere that a sign of anxiety is someone who watches the same show over and over again because they already know the ending. Y'all, this, uh, you know, COVID-19 situation has got me so stressed out that I am re-watching dramas instead of starting new ones because I don't want the added stress of having to learn a new story. I'm re-watching this uh, Thai drama called Until We Meet Again. Oh, it's so sad and beautiful. It's on YouTube if anybody wants to watch it with me. All right, so the chickpeas are nearly done. We're going to go ahead and fry our shells. I'm gonna use some grapeseed oil and we'll wait until the oil gets nice and shimmery before we start adding our tortillas to it. All right, we're going to give our first tortilla a try. Oh yeah. You want it to be sort of bubbling along the sides. And I like to wait until I get a big bubble, and then that is when I fold it over. There's not really a science to this. You just sort of feel it. You want it to get brown, kind of orangey brown. sort of what we're going for. I'm gonna transfer that to a plate that's got a little paper towel on it and go on to the next one. Oh yeah, the second one's always gonna fry better. Okay, yay, I get to eat. Uh, so I have to tell you, part of the reason why I chose to do this recipe, this is sour cream I'm putting on it right now, is because I knew I had chickpeas at home, and I knew I had corn tortillas at home, and I knew I had some sour cream and some cheese, and I thought this might go pretty fast. So that is why I chose to do this recipe today. I'm gonna put a little bit of pico de gallo that is left over from when somebody went to Mexican food. So that is what my cute little chickpea taco looks like. There you go. Better than Taco Bell, that's for sure. Mm. I mean, I would really eat just about anything in one of those fried tortillas. It does help that it's this chickpeas with the taco seasoning. Is delicious. Can you see? Little chickpeas in there. All right. <laughs> I hope that everyone will try that recipe. Have a good night, everybody.